So what's up guys, in this video I'll be taking you through the CAC Post Incorporation Portal. The Post Incorporation Portal is actually the most stressful portal in CAC. You know we have the pre and the post incorporation. Now pre incorporation is when you are maybe about to register a business name, you are about to register a company or you are about to register an NGO. But post incorporation portal is after you have registered your companies but you need to maybe file your annual returns or, or you need to change your director, change of address and so on and so forth. Post incorporation portal is the busiest portal in CAC and it is more technical. So I'll be taking you through the post incorporation website. I will explain to you everything you need to know about post incorporation and step by step on each of the buttons you need to press now before i take you to the website if you like this video i want to see more content of it can this smash the subscribe button let's get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of this month and also after subscribe to the channel click on the notification button so that anytime i release videos like this you'll be the first to see it and also comment on it if you have any issues with your registrations or with your cac but i and i will answer your questions as soon as possible in this video i'll be taking you through the website that you can do your post incorporation at csc now if you have not watched my video on pre-incorporation at csc you can just click on any of the li links below you could familiarize yourself with the pre-incorporation website of csc and some of the things i think about it now for post incorporation is post.cac.gov.ng why pre is pre.cac.gov.ng so once you do that first of all you need to log in like i've always said to you if you want to do a search at CAC all you need to do is search at cac.gov.ng then you will be able to search for any company now search like i've done below i've done a video about how to do a search at CAC so you can look for the video and what the video and how to probably do a search at CAC now how do a search at CAC is if you want to do a search of any company maybe you, you want to know whether a company is real and like i've always told people if you want to be sure whether a company that claims to be involved in trade or doing forex has registered with nigeria corporate affairs commission you could check under the website of cac and see whether the company has been registered however finding out that the company has been registered doesn't mean that the company is legit there are several things that needs to be done anyway so under the post incorporation like we're, we're, we're talking about before post incorporation is anything you do after you have done your registration of whether a company a business name or an ngo post incorporation is actually easy for you post incorporation is if you are searching for any company any business or any ngo now the first thing that you, you, you normally do you are supposed to do under the search is that you, you type the name of the company the registered number or the address or the email or even the phone number so even if you type the phone number you'll be able to see the company here if you type the email but what i do most of the time i type the registered number but because i don't have any registered number in mind so i, can, I could just type you could just type something like daikon tech daikon tech so once you click on daikon tech if you don't know anyway daikon tech is actually a company that is involved in digital marketing so once you want to do any post incorporation matter of any company then of course you click on search so once you click on this when you type the name of the company then you click on the search and once you click on the search it shows the name of the company and the registered number the business type of the company that like it's a business name the address and then of course the date of registration after that you can then click on proceed now once you click on proceed this is where bulk of the work is being done once you allow it to load it takes you to where you actually do bulk of the work this is where you actually do everything that you can on the company so here if you want to file annual returns but because of course it's a business name you don't need to file annual returns if it's a company that's when you need to file annual returns then of course cessation then of course if you want to change change name if you want to change the nature of business of the company if you want to change any of the proprietors or partners of the company i think the company had about about four proprietors anyway so if you want to change any of those information and so on and so forth like that so a letter of good standing means how the company is, is faring and of course the name status report status report is to check the status of the company the the names of directors and so on and so on, what the company is doing now because the business him i would not like to go much into depth into it because there's really nothing much to do about business name so i would go back and type let's say dangote for example no, dangote is dangote sugar i know it should bring out ps plc anyway 
So you get Dangote Sugar Refinery PLC. So you can click on Proceed to Dashboard. So once you go to pro Proceed to Dashboard, so once it goes to Proceed to Dashboard, this is something that I was talking about. For business, it doesn't have all these company search, conversion, not notice, and change your person with significant control, and so on and so forth. So we're going through everything step by step. We might not click on everything, but we're going through everything step by step. So annual returns is to, of course, if you want to check, if you want to file, oh, this was a profit to me, this was net profit to me, this was total profit to me this year. And annual returns is something that is composed, you must file it. In fact, you cannot do any other thing in a post incorporation matter at CAC if you have not filed your annual return. So make sure that if you want to do any company registration for anybody, make sure you ask them whether their annual return is up to date. Because before the CAC will allow you to do anything, they must check whether the annual return is up to date. And if it's not up to date, you would be queried. Now, if you want to know everything about queried, I, I made a video on post incorporation so you can check everything and all you need to know about our account being queried. Then appointment of administrator, receiver, receiver manager or supervisor. So if you want to appoint an administrator, receiver of your company and so on and so forth, you can click on that. Then of course, if you are looking for satisfactory copy of any document, I'm sure there's a fee you can pay for. I've not, I've not applied for it before anyway. But if you are looking for a satisfactory copy of any document or any certified extract, you can click on it and then it will there will be where you fill all the information if you want me to also make a video of, of any of these things just kindly comment on the comment below and i'll make a video on any of them because i've done quite almost all of them except for except for certified to copy and appointment of administrator but there are also some that you cannot do online you have to go into CAC directly to do them now for change of allotment of shares if you want to change your allotment of shares so maybe you want to reduce it reduce the number of shares you give to someone you want to reduce it and you want to add it to another person you can also do that then of course you want to change the secretary you want to change the director you want to change the name you want to change the registered address for example, if you click on change of registered address, it takes you to where you can click on it and you can begin to do your change of registered address. Then of course, the change of registered address is if you want to change the location of the company, maybe your, the headquarter of your company when you are filing is, is in Lagos but you are changing it to Abuja, you can, that's where you do your change of registered address. Now, change of name is maybe you want to change the name of your company from maybe let's assume Dangote Sugar to Dangote refinery alone without adding sugar you can do that then of course the change of director is if you want to change the director of your company you want to change it from someone's name to another name and then of course if you want to change your secretary then for conversion and registration of companies now conversion and registration of those companies is always done if you want to change your company from limited to plc so if you want to do it from limited, even after you have filed your documentation with SEC and so on and so forth like that, you need to submit all those all this information at CAC to be so that they will change it from LTD to PLC. Then of course, notice of change of person with that control. Those are the persons that have the highest number of share, uh, the highest number of shareholders in your company. So the highest number of shareholders, if you want to change them, so that that's how you could do that. Then notice of cessation, maybe your you want, your company want to notice of cessation. Then of course, increase of issue of share capital. So if you want to increase the issued share capital from a particular amount to another amount, so that's how to do that. Then of course, notice of change of particulars of director and so on and so forth. So this information are quite easy to understand. So once you just once you want to do any post incorporation as CAC, once you have done your clicked on it and search for the name of the company, you look at which of those info each of these informations here do you want to do and if it is the registration of charges i don't really think it's actually working yet because i've tried it you actually need to go to the cac office they have not all started working so i think this is one of the problems that i think it should be solved by cac if they want the network the the, the, the things to be easy for lawyers without going to into cac i think that they must try as much as possible to make sure that everything here can be done online instead of going to CAC and submitting documents which sometimes they might not even respond to as fast as possible so i think this should be done as urgent as possible so that's everything you need to know about pre-incorporation and CAC. now if you want me to do any video about any of this 
any of these at all you can just comment on the comment below and i'll make you a video as easy as possible instead of you paying people to do it for you now if you like this content and it has helped you to know your post incorporation portal cac don't forget to smash the subscribe button because you want to get to 10,000 subscribers before the end of this year and also click your notification button so that anytime i release videos like this you'll be the first to see it